Well, we took a break from the Lunch Bunch Book Club because of the pandemic, but you know what? We're back. We're starting to read again, and we've brought Karen Summer with us to start out the book club again. She's retired from the Lima Public Library. Familiar face to noon edition. So thanks for coming back. It's very nice to be here. It's good to see you. All right, so you picked John Grisham. People love John Grisham books. And this one is mm -hmm. Rogue Lawyer. Right. Okay, so. Why? Why did you pick why? this one? Why? Because I was, why? <laughs> all right. I was mad at John Grisham for a good long time because he wrote a book that I didn't like. And so oh, I started really? skipping him. Mm -hmm. So as a result, I've missed a number of his books. So. I saw this one. I was over at Hallmark, and I was like, "Oh!" And it was on sale, so um, I was like, "All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again." So I did, and I liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, "Well, okay, I'm gonna start reading John Grisham again because he is a good writer." So this one was, um, it was, you know, in a way, sad um, mm -hmm. because of the. Um, the outlook that the attorney, Sebastian, has on on people in general, my gosh. Yeah. So he has no friends, and he doesn't like to talk to people. He's got partner who is his assistant, his confidant, his everything for him. And that's pretty much it. It's kind of sad, isn't yeah. it? I know, and Sebastian yeah. has a, a, such a weird life. I mean, he works he works out of a van, you know, he carries mm -hmm. a gun, you know, it's just yeah. kind of crazy. But the one thing of honor for him is that he, he stands up and realizes everyone needs a lawyer and good representation. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. even though these are the bad guys, quote unquote, which they're not always, mm -hmm. you know, he stands up for them and makes sure they get a good trial. Right. And he tries to find the good in them, and sometimes that's pretty hard to yes, find. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. But, you know, he's... He has a child, mm -hmm. um, a, a young boy who, it, I mean, he sounds adorable, mm -hmm. honestly. He does, really. Yes, and um, he does not get along with his ex-wife, and she also is an attorney. <laughs> so, you know, his, his whole, I don't know, his, all of his relationships are just within this tiny little circle, it seems mm -hmm. like. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't know a lot of people right, yeah. outside of the attorneys, the police, and the bad guys, mm -hmm. of which there are many. Oh, so now yes. you're going to read more John Grisham? I am. Okay. I am. I love, you know, I liked him before. You know what it was? It was the book about the basketball player. Oh, that, you didn't like that one? I didn't like that one. I couldn't get through it. I was like, what the heck? But he's had so many. Sometimes. He's had so right, many, yeah, though. Yeah, John Grisham yeah. has so many. I know. Yeah. I know. So, yeah, I've, I've missed since, like, 20... 12 or something. <laughs> so, I've got a whole, you know, more than a decade now right, to catch yeah. up on. So. Mm -hmm. Well, and Grisham has the same theme, right? I mean, it's all crime and, and that kind of thing, right? Because uh, I haven't read that many, actually, of his either. Oh, mostly, yes. I mean, the basketball, well, I don't know where that came from. It, it was a basketball player. <laughs> so if you want to start reading Grisham, Rogue Lawyer is not a bad one. It's not a bad one. I, I would say it's not his best. I mean, The Firm. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was okay. a classic. That is, yeah. good one. That is the movie, best. Yeah, and okay. actually, that's that's kind of what got me back into mm -hmm. Grisham because they were running something on Netflix. Um, I think it was done, I don't know, many years yeah. ago. Yeah. But Isn't Tom Cruise was, in that? Yes, no, yes. yes. Well, the it, in the movie. Yeah. But this was a series, and so oh, it was okay. not Tom Cruise. But still, it was interesting, and I was like, oh, I remembered that I liked John Grisham. Well, he's had a lot of stuff in the movies and whatnot, but I don't mm -hmm. think the Rogue Lawyer ever made it to TV or... I don't think. I don't think so. Or the movies. No. You know, well, there was talk. It's a mediocre one. Maybe that's a good right. idea. <laughs> but, but Karen's like, this think, is okay, but this but, is not as bad. I think it would be a good television uh, show. Actually, exactly, you're right. Yeah. Not a yeah. movie, but a TV series. Because yeah. every yeah. episode right. could be a new case. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. He had, I counted, there were like 13 characters in this. Yes. Yeah. It was a lot. That was a lot to yeah. that, was <laughs> that was something Chris mentioned, right? You said there's a lot of characters. There's so many characters in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Way too many. All right. Well, that was a good start to the book club, Karen. Thank you. Thank you yeah, we appreciate me. you for coming on. Thanks. All right, so we'll see what happens with the next book club. <laughs> so it'll be fun. All right, well, don't go away because we have more than we return.